Well, I think it's going to be um, one for smart cross-country runners who are willing to be patient. Uh, the course is, is challenging with a big ditch and a couple of hills and some uneven ground. And so uh, world cross-country always goes out fast. And so our team is going to need to be patient but aggressive um, and assertive to stay in contact with the leaders um, but not leading and um, make sure that they can be strong in the second half of the race. Okay. And we're looking good for that. I saw them training today. I think the main advice so far has just been to make sure that um, they're rested for the race. Uh, it's tempting when you start getting rested up after the long travel to, when you feel good, want to want to dig deep and get in a good hard effort. And it's we got to keep the lid on it so that we're nice and fresh for su Sunday and. Um, it's hot out there too, so making sure that everybody stays hydrated and and uh, you know just um, feels like a a coiled spring for Sunday. That's the that's the idea. So I, I think also I've advised them to be positive and light uh, with their mind because everybody's nervous here. It's a big race. It's got everybody. Um, who's run any uh, distance event on some middle distance runners running cross country. It's an awesome array of talent at every world cross country race. And so um, they need to be, um, remember their love for the sport and be, be excited and happy to be out there and they're gonna run the best race that they can. Okay. All right.